welcome back to a new video today's video is on amazon original tropo season 2 with the official synopsis being six months after ted and amanda solved their first murder case the duo is now investigating a bizarre local murder and then exotic drug ring while amanda tangles with an old enemy and finds a new love interest ted's past stalks him and his family to crimson lake with deadly consequences and before i give up my review please like the video dislike click on notifications Follow me on Instagram, Letterboxd, and TikTok. The first season of Tropo was a pretty good watch in my opinion. And the fact that not a lot of people are talking about this series or even knows about this series is pretty surprising and just disappointing as I think that people should definitely give this show a watch and just see the craziness and bizarreness that the first two seasons of the show has. The story for season two involves Ted and Amanda being hired to solve the newest local murder case that revolves around a father that was pretty well known to the entire community who was well off rich had a lot of different businesses that was murdered in a gruesome way with him basically being ran over a couple of different times set on fire and then kicked off 30 meters off of a cliff with another person being caught in the crossfires and this murder case this time around just like season one had its fair share of crazy and bizarre moments in between with many people being involved from local drug rings poaching bikes being stolen cars being stolen exotic gangs being involved just people just dealing with just all kinds of bad people all around like this case was pretty insane in my opinion with all of that transpires but despite that though ted and amanda this time around seems more focused seems more serious and more professional when it comes to dealing with this case and also in between the season both ted and amanda are still trying to right their wrongs or are still trying to make rights in their personal life with Amanda despite the truth being revealed in the last season she is still dealing with personal demons such as trying to move on from the entire incident trying to just heal herself with car therapy and trying to do everything in her power to just move on from this entire horrific situation that took over 12 years of her life ted is desperately trying to get back with his family trying to get back into how things were beforehand but with this case still lingering on behind him this mysterious case that he was let go with lack of evidence it's still a difficult time for both characters as they are both trying to solve their own personal issues throughout season two season two in my opinion does a good job with performances from the lead actors of ted and amanda as a lot of times it just comes off as realism you just feel sympathetic for their characters when it comes to what they're trying to do or when it comes to just solving the murder season two does have its fair share of newer characters and i think that each of the actors for their characters i think does mostly good for their characters and the actions that some of them take as a theme that i noticed a lot in here for season two was family family was the main focal point for season two when it comes to people just making dangerous decisions to protect their families even if the outcome is fatal the outcome is disastrous family was one of the main focal points for season two in my opinion the production 
the scenery of Queensland looked nice throughout the eight episodes of season two. And you can definitely tell that the production was a little bit higher this time around with Amazon being involved this time. It was a good look as this time around Ted's case is also being investigated too by Amanda when it comes to the entire situation as mentioned previously and I was surprised like the outcomes for all of the cases all of the incidents involved in here some of the outcomes was surprising such as who was responsible for the main murder that Ted and Amanda was hired for Ted's case as well too as to who was responsible and why they did all of it some crazy shenanigans it's some holy moly what the hell is going on sometimes in here but yes but when it comes to a few things that i did not like about season two there were little to no issues that i had i still felt that maybe some moments felt that it was taking too long or felt overstayed or some things just coming off just slow at times but that's really not a huge complaint or a huge issue in my opinion season two was still pretty good overall despite that and with how it ends i could definitely see the show return for a season three with ted and amanda solving another local case or maybe this time this case is just bigger than Ted and Amanda and they just have to go out of Crimson Lake to solve this case but if it comes back for a season three I would definitely give it a watch if not then I understand but Tropple season two is still pretty consistent like season one the investigation the murder case this time around has its many twists and turns in between the characters of ted and amanda are still as interesting as both are trying to solve this case while trying to solve their own personal issues and both of their lives and i think my rating for season two would be eight out of ten so thank you for watching and until next time